And when there's no platforms on town and city, basically a wide FD. Uh, so we might see a lot of potential landing catchings, especially with Falco's great air game. Or uh, we might see this favoring Dill a little bit more with the extra space to move around and uh, set up. So we'll see. For sure. And the thing is, I can definitely understand, you know, how hard it must be for Rob to actually play this character because Rob is a big buddy and Falco just has a lot of good tools. And, you know, if I'm going to be completely honest, I think Dill, out of like all the Robs that we have here, has probably one of the best disadvantages in like the entire like New York scene. However, speaking of disadvantage, you know, Tilde is just gonna throw Dill for like a loop and then kill, and then I think that was a zero to death. That's zero to death. Yeah, that was a zero to death. I, I was I was too busy talking about disadvantage and Rob that like, <laughs> it, it, you know, Tilde kind of just like went off and just killed Dill, and then this is so crazy. Oh yeah. my god. We actually did also see um, Tilde taking advantage of the platforms here because not. Uh, usually in a traditional layout, they're pretty high. Oftentimes they're off the stage like we see here. Very good opportunities for Falco to chase those off and continue combos. For sure. Now, I'm definitely hoping to see a little bit more of just like... A, a little bit more of just, you know, kind of like, not really patience, I would say. I would say more of just so like being like very careful because like, you know, Dilde... Dilde? Did I just say that? <laughs> I am so sorry. Anyways, Dilde has such a good advantage and you know like we just had seen if you make one mistake you're just gonna die just like how Dill killed with that back air right there period but like I, I definitely remember you know the last time that we had seen you know Dill in one of these situations I think it was actually against Suarez this um recent Xeno um like where she was down a stock and then she immediately like not immediately but she brought it back and you know pretty convincingly and that's definitely why what mu that's definitely might be what we need here for sure in order to kind of just like you know make this game a little bit more even mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh tilde with a very good control of space right now and i think it's interesting the way that he's tossing out the lasers here because i think that's indicative of a certain part of his style, which is that he's going to toss out these little bits and options that's like, yeah, do you want to make this commitment? Do you want to do the thing that in the moment might be safe? Do you want to air dodge this and potentially take a mix on landing? Do you want to land to this platform, potentially catch uh, my hands when I'm there? Um, there's a lot of decision making when you're on the defense against Tilde, and there's a lot of options that he can take where he can make you regret it if you feel like you haven't chosen mm -hmm. correctly. Absolutely, and for sure, I think the kind of issue was actually, you know, that disadvantage, as much as I was kind of praising Doe for her disadvantage, I think this is kind of like one of the things that it's just like, you know, you can have as much of a good advantage as you want, but if you don't have that disadvantage, if you don't know, you know, how specifically to get away, you know, like whenever you are in disadvantage, that's kind of be the issue that it kind of looks like especially just for like a lot of people that do play tilt like they definitely find themselves like you know in disadvantage a lot of the time because it's falco you're what do you mean you're not gonna be in disadvantage hello mm -hmm. but yes for sure getting into the second game we are going back to town and city and the kind of thing that i actually kind of want to know is that um till they banned fd and ps2 well, um, PS2, I'm not entirely sure why PS2 would be a bad stage for Falco. However, I can definitely see how FD is just a bad stage for Falco because Falco can spend time in disadvantage a lot of the time and then just, you know, mm -hmm. not do fun. I could definitely see the um, issues with landing going both ways, especially on potentially a larger stage like PS2 where Dill has the chance to move back, uh, charge gyro, laser, uh, go for some potentially safer options to go for. Not that Town and City isn't a long stage in and of itself, but you got the platforms coming in and out and we've seen Tilde make great use of the platforms in his combo game. Absolutely. And the kind of thing that I feel like I want to mention is that, you know, we've seen Dill go for a lot of these nares, and the kind of thing that I feel like we should be seeing maybe even a little bit more is actually Dill trying to displace um, Tilde a lot more of the time. We'll see a lot of the time when she's either off stage or, you know, sorry, like whenever she's landing, that she's just strictly going for nair. Now, that's kind of the thing that you'd expect with, you know, Rob, but Rob with such a good recovery. I think that she should be doing a little bit more of just what happened right now. Go a lot more of, you know, just like um, lasers and even just like going for like fair. I definitely, very nice kill right there too. Not even gonna get a chance to say what I wanted to say because we're gonna just stop everything we're talking about and just 
see, you know, two stocks on the screen completely together. <laughs> um, but for sure, um, just getting a little bit more of advantage going on right here. Just, wow, very nice Nair to kind of just immediately, you know, make that call out right there. Not going to get too much off of that Nair. However, we're just going to see, you know, Doe in with the stage control. She's kind of just doing a little bit of, uh, a little bit of something, something. Um, for today right now trying to make it as even as possible and i think a little bit of an issue that is kind of a thing too is when she actually is in range you know of falco falco is definitely hard to kind of punish whenever you are in close range so that's why she definitely you can't see how she's trying to play a little bit more you know out of range per mm -hmm. se yeah, a little yeah. bit farther. And it's difficult because uh, Falco is a fairly quick character. It's very difficult to get out of uh, his range without potentially just getting red and chased. Because uh, Rob is relatively quick in terms of frames, but in terms of movement speed, not that fast. Absolutely. And that was almost a good, you know, call out. I think it was because, um, you know, ooh, Falco did just do the thing falco phantasm as we learned recently mm -hmm. falco phantasm falco yeah phantasm. oh my god stop please anyways <laughs> not me loving that word but falco phantasm kind of just went, went through um on the lower end and just you know just kind of did the thing and got out of that situation however we're gonna see another situation where dill is actually you know ledge trapping however gonna miss that side miss that side b and just wow just like kind of trying to you know kill tilde not having a little bit most of the fun right now but for sure um definitely ooh, trying to recover a little bit high trying to be very extremely careful about how she actually gets back to the ledge because if she messes up even once like this is going to be a very bad time for both of these players. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a lot of uh, a potentially easy to miss part of Tilde, which is the patient Tilde. A lot of walking, a lot of tossing out, um, very difficult to do anything about reflectors, a lot of waiting for options here. Uh, not just because of the lead, but because uh, Falco can put out these low commitment, decent damage options on Dill. Um, especially at a percent where already a glancing hit could potentially take a stock. I definitely love this patience already. We had seen that Dill like just did 80% already almost just because of the way that she actually positioned herself, you know, when she um, took that second stock. However, that up smash is going to take that game. I'm going to be honest, that was looking just a little bit too scary for <laughs> Tilde right there because if he did not you know, get out of that position, we could have seen a lost dog. I think that outspaced the, um, the Nair. I want to look at that again real quick, because I thought that was at least going to be a trade. Oh. And because of the way that the up smash, you know, kind of just started, mm. it, it kind of not really shifted the hitbox, but it, it started to kind of kill or to kind of hit Rob, you know, as it was coming up. And since Rob, you know, kind of just does a little, you know, smash for Rosa and just mm -hmm. goes a little. And it then just, it, it yeah. looks like the direction it actually enabled that because I think the Nair hitbox would have still been active there. So uh, the direction it came from on the right, as well as tucking Falco's head down, uh, allowed that to come out clean, it looks like. Oh, intangible feet as well, according to Devin. Yo, Thank Mark. you, Devin. <laughs> Falco, Falco got the you can't touch me feet, please. The happy feet, the I'ma kill you feet, please. Anyways, and since we're talking about just feet and whatnot, we see Falco just immediately like already going for some advantage right here. Although I think we 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 were just a little bit more in advantage on Dill's side. She was doing a little bit well. She put um, tilde two seventy eight percent, but it's just gonna be a little bit more even right now, and we're just gonna see you know um just a little bit of scrapping at this point because like it's a little bit more of just like we need to be very careful about how you actually do stuff because you can just die at any moment like we almost saw right there and just gonna get that down there and get that you know first stock off from dill now what do you think we might have to see from dill in order to help make this more of an even game honestly um a big part of this is just you get put into till they's mix till they wait you out a little bit and potentially get chased for more damage potentially another mix of potentially kill on this one in that recovery situation it was just down to the mix um rob doesn't really have a whole lot to do in that situation besides go up we'd like to see dill do the uh jump up gyro like we see similar to that um 
So, honestly, in these situations, sometimes you just gotta guess right. Sometimes you have to have the correct read, but I think, additionally, we're seeing Tilde create a lot of space for himself in reflecting these gyros at lower percents, in, um, honestly, not even making a big rush to go in because Falco can play outside of Rob's range and catch Rob in the air. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, for sure. And something that I also want to point out is that, you know, when it comes to just, like, just landing in general, I think Dill isn't too sure if she, like, like how she kind of actually wants to punish, you know, whenever Tilde is type of, like, kind of landing. Because, you know, we'll see Tilde be, like, landing and land right on top of Dill. However, like, she doesn't put in, in like, kind of hitbox out right above him. That kind of just, like, you know, is just like, hey, you know, stop doing this very poorly. <laughs> you know, even though, like, she kind of is a little bit struggling to see that. But, like, you already know. <laughs> Uh, this just, is a rough place to be. As it is when you're playing Tilt Day. It's, it, it, I definitely believe that, you know, this is something that we can see be very much of an even game if we can get this next stock off, for sure. Ooh, okay. So, just kind of like... Ah! That, that's <laughs> almost killed. That'll definitely do it. But yes, for sure. That was a very nice 3-0 coming in. From till they gonna take that game. No, I I think it was it was it was a pretty like um how do you say a a, a fighting a fight uh, they were scrapping. All I'm trying to say is that they were scrapping. Yeah, they, I, they scrapped. They got the scrap in, and then you know that's I, what happened. <laughs> I definitely think that Dill had a, a good chance on that one, but we saw a lot of. Again, patient till they, it's very easy to look at his gameplay and say, oh man, he's doing all these aggressive down airs, he's doing all these cool combos, he's doing all these follow-ups. But then there's the moments where he's not going aggressive, where he's maybe got a bit of a lead, where he's looking for his opponent's responses, walking, just doing safe reflectors, uh, shooting out a blaster after a combo to see what the opponent does. It's very difficult because you get overwhelmed when you're in the blender because you don't want to die to falco early you don't want to get behind you don't want to eat a bunch of damage when you don't have to and then till they takes advantage of that takes advantage of the pressure that's already on his opponent purely by existing and being a combo character and having these threat ranges and then sort of just pushing the buttons a little bit at a time it's like hey uh you can come in if you want you know here's a reflector very little damage but you know you can't keep away forever you're gonna have to get close to me uh -huh. Absolutely, and for sure. So mm -hmm. I think that's going to be the last game for us today.